Hey! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you've never been here before. As some of you may know, I am a hair TikToker now, and I literally just post hair content on my main TikTok account. I've been getting a lot of people asking me to post them on YouTube shorts because they don't have TikTok, so I put all of my hair care TikToks into a big giant video. These are all my hair care tips, all the stuff that I do to my hair, hair care hack things that I've tried. If you're interested in seeing that, keep watching. Okay, I love you, bye. My favorite shampoos. Shampoos are never let touch my hair. All time favorite conditioners. that made my hair go from this to this. Helping my boyfriend get rid of his dandruff. How to shampoo like a pro. Lather your shampoo to emulsify it. Only shampoo your roots, trust me. Shampoo twice. How to condition like a pro. Time hair care routine. Bamboo brush to stimulate scalp. Wear oil on roots. Massage into scalp. Oil on mids and ends. Affordable shampoos without harmful chemicals. Best affordable shampoos. Styling my natural hair. Shampoo. Wear mask on mids and ends. Gently brush through hair. Wait 5 to 10 minutes. Detangler. Bear milk. Pearl defining cream. Diffuse. Wear oil. Hair growth tip. Add a few drops of rosemary oil into your shampoo. Tell me you have healthy hair without telling me you have healthy hair.
I'll go first. Essential hair oils you need. My favorite hair masks. Products that transformed my damaged bleached hair. Styling my natural wavy hair. Coconut milk hair mask. Let's do an aloe vera hair mask. This is your sign to get a hair gloss. I took to transform my hair. Steps I take to keep my hair healthy after bleaching. Hair routine without silicones. Tips for oily roots.
let's make rosemary water for healthy hair growth. My fab shampoos right now. Quick hair routine for very damaged bleached hair. to wash oily hair completely wet hair quarter size amount of shampoo lather shampoo only shampoo roots shampoo twice only condition mids and ends tips for greasy roots So we're going to talk about hair training. If you're that person where you wake up in the morning and you wash your hair and literally within a few hours your hair is a big giant grease ball, this video is for you. I'm going to quickly sum up how I trained my hair. First off, there's a lot of opinions on hair training. I think everybody can train their hair to a certain extent, but everybody cannot train their hair the same. Some people can train their hair to make it last a whole entire month without washing and some people can only do two days. Some people are just oilier than others and that is totally okay. I wash my hair every single day I lived by that you know I thought everyone who said otherwise was stupid because I hate oily hair I got really sick of washing my hair every day and I kind of fell into a depression slump and I kind of just didn't take a shower for a week and that really kick-started me training my hair first things first you want to stop washing your hair as much I know it feels disgusting just trust me first thing you're gonna do you're gonna wash your hair then you're gonna wait one day then you're gonna wash your hair again then you're going to wait two days then you're gonna wash your hair again and then you're gonna wait three days Days, and then you're gonna wash your hair and so on. I wash my hair every three to five days just because that's kind of my limit. I hope this helps. Just remember that training your hair is different for everyone and it takes a lot of patience and you may get different results than others on the internet. Simple hair step that makes my hair softer. How I get my hair to last five days without getting oily. Let's wash my six day hair. I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy unless, of course, we're talking about my enemy, Gwyneth Paltrow. Fuck you, Gwyneth Paltrow. Where all that eye break? Dry conditioning before shampooing. How to wash dry hair.
Do you have super oily roots and then extremely dry ends? This has been one of my biggest hair struggles. It has been one of the hardest to figure out how to fix, but I finally figured it out. I recently bought a bore brush. And as you can see, this isn't a normal brush. It has these bristles on it. And what this brush does, it helps your natural oil on your roots distribute to the rest of your hair. On all the days that I'm not washing my hair, I will take this brush and just go through my hair from root to tip. It just distributes that oil and my hair has felt so much better my roots aren't as oily and my ends are more moisturized definitely if you have this issue get this brush so we're gonna be making some rice water put one cup of jasmine rice in a container with like two cups of water I kind of just eyeballed it I'm gonna take some rosemary essential oil and put a few drops into that there's a lot of studies that say rosemary promotes hair growth probably one of my favorite hair ingredients I have ever found I'm gonna mix that around a little bit I'm gonna seal it off and I'm going to put this away for two weeks to let it ferment so fast forward to two weeks I shampoo my hair and then I condition and I'm going to put this all over my scalp and my hair. I'm going to leave it on for about five minutes and then I'm going to rinse it out. Instantly when I do this, my hair feels so much stronger. This is such a good thing to do if you have bleached hair because you need to add the protein back in your hair. One thing I cannot stress enough is to please be careful with rice water because it is so high in protein. You do not want to overload your hair with protein because if you do that, your hair will feel like hay and it will start to break off. I have done it before and it really sucks. If you want a cheap way to add protein back in your hair that is actually very effective and works, this is one of my favorite techniques to do. How I pre-wash. My root oil. Put all over scalp. Massage for three to five minutes. Jojoba and gargan oil on mids and ends. Leave on overnight or for an hour before washing. Shampoo roots twice. Condition mids and ends. So moisturized and not oily at all. How I wash my brushes. So first things first, I take a comb and I'm going to get rid of all of the hair, debris, if there's little like fuzz balls and stuff. Sometimes there can be quite a bit stuck in there and don't worry, we're gonna take care of that later if you don't get all of it. I fill up a bowl with some pretty hot water. I put some apple cider vinegar in there along with some clarifying shampoo. I mix that all together. I sit all my brushes face down in the solution and I let it sit for about an hour. When it's been an hour, I'll take an old toothbrush and I'll scrub all of the brushes making sure all of that oil and everything is out this is the point where I will try and get all of the little fuzz balls and everything out of them and then I just rinse all of them off with water to make sure all of the solution that we just put on them is off and to make sure to get all of the oil off I set all of my brushes face down on a towel just to dry I'll just let them sit there for like an hour and as you can see they came out very very clean if you're using a brush every single day they hold so much oil dead skin debris everything, especially bore brushes. Since I've been regularly cleaning my brushes, I have definitely seen a major impact in my hair not getting as greasy as fast. It's also just really satisfying to see all of the dirt and like gunk come out of your brushes. Styling my natural waves. This is your sign to start using a scalp massager. I didn't think these were gonna be worth the hype, but they definitely are. I mainly use mine when I shampoo my hair. So first I'll put shampoo all over my hair and then I will take my scalp massager and just gently massage my whole entire scalp. I will actually flip my head over and use the scalp massager like that because it's just really getting the blood circulation going. This has so many benefits. It helps exfoliate the scalp and get all that dead skin off, which promotes healthier hair growth and you cannot grow 
healthy hair without a healthy scalp. Also helps blood circulation, which studies also show promotes healthier hair growth. It can help people with super duper oily roots. It also can help with dandruff. I have definitely seen a difference in my hair growth. It has just seemed stronger. My scalp is so much healthier. I definitely think these are worth the hype. Styling my natural hair.